everybody. It's Christine and it's time for a scrap with crafter noon. Let me show you the lift. The Miss Karen found this one. Sorry, Kristen found this one. Um, it's by Caledonia Paper Craft. It's an IG layout, so make sure you check out the account. She's quite good. And I'm kind of cheap. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna cheat, but I'm gonna tell you about it first. So she has these uh single photo. I think she's got washi tape here. There's like washi tape pieces. She's kind of made like a little L around her photo. And then she's got like the journaling right here on where, when, what. It's like a rainbow. And then she's got these, it's kind of a diagonal here with like little clusters. And then the title's on the side here. Lots of mixed media. Now, um, I'm going to be cheating, y'all. Not going to lie. Cheating. Because I have this uh, Where To Next to Vicki Booten. And I honestly, for some reason, that little thing with her little rainbow things called this to me. This paper here. And I like this paper a lot, y'all. This is really pretty. And I have this photo of my husband. He's actually looking out over the Grand Canyon. And I thought to myself, that kind of looks cool. Now, I'll still have to add a little something here and a little something here. But, and I've definitely expanded, you know, this is definitely bigger than her little rainbow thing. But I kind of just, for some reason, this just kind of works for me. So, I'm cheating. I'm going to use this. And so, I don't even know if I have to do, I may do some splatters. But I definitely don't have to do as much mixed media as she's showing. So... I think this is fun. I think I'm going to do this. And then I have all these little ephemera pieces and things like this with this wear to next. So I'll be pulling those out. But I don't think I'm going to have to, I say that. I shouldn't say that because I'll end up jinxing myself. I feel like I got, I don't have to work as hard as <laughs> she might have on her layout. Because I'm going to use this as my base and I love this. So that's what I'm doing. So give me just a second. I'm going to trim this off. I've not decided if I'm going to mount this on something. I usually kind of like to mount things, but maybe not. I'll come back on in a minute. Well, gang, I decided not to mount the paper on anything else, so it's going to stay kind of the way it is. I did mount my photo, though, on white cardstock, and then on, it was an old Bow Bunny double dot, or like a, not Bow Bunny, rather. It was one that had bumps on it, and you could theoretically, like, sand it to have, it had textured bumps, but it was a kind of a dark charcoal, and it went with the darker charcoal colors in the thing there. And I think that, and she, they, she had done that on the layout, so I thought that uh, kind of popped really nicely. Now, there was this branding strip I had in my papers. There was just these stars, and I decided not to use washi tape. I thought I'll just use this little branding strip, and it worked out pretty well. Um, I ended up having just a slightly shorter piece on the left side of the photo, but I think it looks fine. And I have pulled out the chipboard pieces. It says, wow, um, I think it says this place is awesome or something. I'm sorry. It's a little shiny, and I'm not looking at the layout right now. But I decided that was my title. I do have to set that aside for a second, though, because I forgot I had to put that washi or the pattern right there on the side of the photo. So I'm just going to glue all these down. I think this looks great. I'm actually, it's real uh, like bold and kind of jumps out at you, kind of like hers does. She's like a black and white. I think it was washi, like I said. Um, so far, I'm really loving this, and it's kind of easy so far. <laughs> um, and actually, this doesn't take me very long. Before I even edited the video, I only had 13 minutes of footage. So now I will tell you, I've already pulled out some ephemera on the left-hand side of there, and that took me a few minutes. I did have to kind of sort through and pick things that I thought would either be the right size or you know, something along those lines. So I have a little pile there. I will not use them all. And I knew I probably wouldn't when I started messing with it, but um, I, I have pulled out the ephemera. So I did take that part out of, you don't need to see me sorting through ephemera. So that's all on the left-hand side. All right, so I've got my little washi bases or my little branding strip bases here, and I'm gonna put my title back together. And then I'm gonna start working on my um, clusters. Now, I also pulled out this uh, piece of notebook paper looking, or this little ephemera here, it looks like notebook paper, whatever. It just says, it says a little sentiment. I mean, she had like journaling. And I will add at the very end, before the photos, but after the filming, I will add Greg at the Grand Canyon uh, 2017, I think it was. No, 2019 rather, sorry. Um, I will add that, but for the moment, this is just kind of taking the place of like her journaling in a way. Um, I'll also come in with a sticker in a little bit, but for the moment, this is kind of doing that. Now she had a little pin on hers and this little ephemera had a little pin. So I went ahead and added the pin. I don't know that it really matters with him staying on the edge of the Grand Canyon, but she had a pen, so I added a pen. Now, why I fast around with this little angle here, I don't know, because then I turn around and pick it up. <laughs> I do that all the time. I'll sit there and fast around something, it's not glued down, and then I pick it up, and I was like, well, Christine, I don't even know if you got it back where you had it, but it's okay. So I got my little pen on there, and now I've got to work on my little clusters. Now, there was this really cool, it's kind of a really big circle, if I'm honest. It's way bigger than the stuff she had, but it says something like photo here, and I started to put something over the top of that, and I thought, no, it looks kind of neat to have photo here. But the words on the bottom said something like Lost City, and I didn't really want that. So I will end up putting Wanderlust over that piece on the bottom. And then there's uh, that little map, and then the upper left. I'm going ahead and carry on that circle motif, I guess, in a way. So I put the compass in the upper left. 
And I'll end up with another circle and just a bit above the photo where she had some stuff. But for the moment, I've just kind of got these pieces. There's that little uh, geo tag. Uh, and then I'm, again, I'm just kind of poking around through these stickers and stuff here. I think I pull out some stars. Yep, there we go, I'll pull up those stars. There's also some little chipboard stars that are black and I'll pull those out too in just a moment. I'm just kind of trying to follow uh, her like diagonal cluster design. There's my little stickers. It says the world's a beautiful place or something like that. What a beautiful world I think it is. And again, that's kind of an homage to her little rainbow journal thing where it's like, you know, horizontal words or whatever. So I'm trying to be inspired by that. And then there's other little black ones, the little black stars, the chipboard stars. Now one of them peels off and it makes me annoyed, honestly. I have to glue it down in a minute, but um, the other ones work okay. And I started to put that little thing up there to write on. And then I thought, Christine, that's a little bit silly. There's all kinds of little layers and stuff or like they're printed layers on there. I'm like, you don't need another piece to write on. So I took that away. So I find this other little circle though. And I like this because it is taking my circles in that diagonal. And it's like a, it says place review or something, five stars out of five stars or something like that. But I do like that little circle because again, it's going in the diagonal there. And this is where I start trying to glue stuff down. And I try to get fancy and keep them together. I don't know what I was doing. I should have just glued it down normal. Um, like I said, this is a little bit bigger than she had. But I, I do like that big circle thing with the photo here on it. I, for some reason, that just attracted me. So I'm just going to build this little cluster out. Now, in a minute, I'm going to cut away because I do decide. I'm looking at her inspiration. And I see, I think it's Nouveau Drops. Y'all, I haven't looked. I don't know for sure if there's a video. I know it's on her Instagram, and I should probably go see if there is a video, but I sometimes, if I'm honest with you, I enjoy scrap lifting layouts without having seen their video to see if I can recreate it like with my own thoughts, if that makes any sense. Like, I don't I always want to know the secret. Well, it's kind of like the magician, right? It's like you don't want to know that the sleight of hand behind the trick. You just kind of want to see the end. So I don't always watch the video. Sometimes I do if I'm terribly confused. <laughs> Like, if I'm going, what in the world is that or something, I might watch the video. But otherwise, I try, honestly, just to look at the final product and then get inspired by that. Um, I will end up putting foam underneath my little geo tag. I did put foam underneath that little notebook journaly looking thing. And um, I will put foam underneath Wanderlust at the bottom right if I haven't already. So there's my little foam under my geo tag there. I had pulled out those butterflies. She had butterflies on her layout. So I contemplated using them. But by the time I got all those other pieces of ephemera and things like that, uh, it would have been just too big. It wasn't going to work. And there was a few, I think there's at least one butterfly sticker, but by this point I decided now I'm good. So here's my Nouveau drops. I thought she had Nouveau drops. So I'm going to go ahead and add some little black Nouveau drops. And I do look at what she's got on her screen and kind of, uh, I try to stay very close to where she had placed them because I thought, okay, I'm trying to follow along with her, her layout here. I didn't try to deviate too much. I thought, you know, Christine, you started off so different. You, you probably need to try to keep some of this stuff the same. Um, so I, that's what, that was my goal here with using the, the Nouveau drops. I actually kind of like them because I think the black Nouveau drops looks great. So I'll put all these here and that's when I decide, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and do the journaling. And then I worried myself because I go, Christina, put your arm inside your Nouveau drops. So I had to pay attention. That being said, I had tested the Nouveau drops on another piece of paper. And when I was going to clean up, I managed to smear it all over my fingers. <laughs> Definitely. So that's Okay. Um, I don't think I find anything else. I decide, no, you know what? I'm, I'm kind of happy with this the way it is. So I'm going to set it all aside and, and give you a slowdown here so you can kind of see it. This one went pretty quick, and I think it's because my little base paper was already done. So I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to check out the playlist. All the ladies tend to play along. I don't know that anybody's taking a break this week, so it should be a goodly little amount. And uh, don't forget to check out the original um, layout on the Instagram as well. All the links will be below, so we will see you next time, and have a great day. Bye.